Go now, Cain, and find the bishop. Uma's life depends on you, as do we all. as quick as you can. There's vampires on the streets. My sister's husband saw a man drained white he was just last week. And if the vampires don't get you, the Seraphim guards will have some questions for a stranger in this part of the city. And their questions aren't too healthy. Now go along with you, quick! Stay back! <laughs> So, the rumors speak true. Marcus, my old friend. A poor choice of words, Cain. We were not friends. Will you sour this reunion with old grudges? Granted, we parted on poor terms. You tried to murder me? I seem to have failed. You feared my growing powers. You knew they would one day surpass yours. Is that why you begged me to fight at your side when you wage war upon Nosgoth? Begged? I never begged. In your arrogance, you presumed me dead. But I was stronger than you knew. I crawled from my haven and fled into hiding. <laughs> That's the Marcus I remember. When the Saraphan proved victorious, I knew that my destiny lay with the Saraphan Lord. I offered myself to the winning side. I always knew you for a sneaking, cowardly opportunist. How unfortunate that my poor aim caused you so much suffering. This time, you will die completely, I promise you. No, Cain. Once more you underestimate me. The dark gifts manifest differently in each of us. Over the years during your absence, my powers have increased enormously. I now have the power to charm all living things, to subjugate their minds and make them do my bidding. You will kneel to me, Cain, and the Seraphan Lord will be pleased with my new slave. Now, obey me. What? Impossible. What manner of creatures have you been practicing on? Dull mortal fools, with their minds full of commerce and dung? My mind is far too strong for your powers. No matter. My mental powers still allowed me to read your thoughts. You seek the Bishop of Meridian, do you not? He has some information that you require. A clever trick. I will ensure that you never get that information. 
You may find the good bishop, Cain, but when you do, he will be dead. Not if I reach him first.
So, this fella taps me on the shoulder. Right there in the Red Raven? That's right. But I could tell he didn't belong there. Nice hands he had, and that look in his eye like it reads too much. Oh, uh, a swell, was he? That's right. And he tells me he'll give me a tenner if I follow his wife of an evening and kill the man she meets. <laughs> and guess who it was? Who? A priest at the cathedral. She was going there every night to pray for her son who's run off somewhere. Wow. What did you do? What'd you think? What I've been paid to do. I'm not one to spit at a tenner. Is it time yet? No. Wait till that light up there goes out. The gentry never think. They invite you to their house, and what? Do they think you just go away after that? And there's lots of silver, you say? And the woman has jewels? Hidden in the same place. Can you believe it? Well, we'll just have to teach them a lesson about that. They should thank us for it. to conduct me to the bishop's manor on the instant. We were told to be on the lookout for a vampire. Not me, you fool. You know me. Cain. Cain is the one you seek. Well, he's not going to stop and tell us his name. You're to kill him on sight. Those are our orders. reach the bishop's manor at the other end of the city. Only he can give you passage into the Seraphine Keep. The curfew has set in, so be careful on the streets. The guards are looking for anyone suspicious and will attack you on sight.
Bishop's Manor is near. However, the Seraphim patrols have locked down all the streets. You may be able to trick them into opening the gates. Find the clock tower and ring its bell. The workers will think it time for their shift to change and will open the gates. I told my lady the girls wouldn't clean his lordship's room with that light burning in there. They were that frightened of him. The lights stay on of their own accord? He calls it glyph energy. He's lit the whole upstairs with it now. It's a wonderful light, so gentle and bright. I like it myself, but the girl's near left in a body. I've seen glyph lights, but not in a gentleman's house. But he won them over in a minute, the day he got the glyph energy to heat his bath water for him. That's right, we carry the cans up cold now, and he's got the water hot in a twinkling. The girls are all right with it now. So I should hope. Here's everything on your list for a week, just as you asked. You call this a peach? Peach stone, more like. It's green! I told my lady the girls wouldn't clean his lordship's room with that light burning in there. They were that frightened of him. The lights stay on of their own accord? He calls it glyph energy. He's lit the whole upstairs with it now. It's a wonderful light, so gentle and bright. I like it myself, but the girl's near left in a body. I told my lady the girls wouldn't clean his lordship's room. I told my lady the girls wouldn't clean his <laughs> ship's room with that light burning in there they were that frightened of him i told my lady the girls wouldn't
Wales wouldn't clean his lordship's room with that patrol man. Ah! Oh! Oh! No! No! Thank <laughs> you. 
Not a plague on the land. Don't talk that way. They are the means to an orderly society. My father says. Oh, you and your father. Don't you see? The order and discipline the Seraphim impose on the lower orders are for everyone's good. They respect us. They know their place. My father says there was a time when the great noble families ruled the land, with a king over all. It's just the same now. The Seraphim lord. We, the nobles of the land, are not being permitted to have a proper influence upon affairs. Speak for yourself. We cringe and we pay. Many an ancient family has been brought to ruin by the unending taxes. And where is the money going? He's not even building palaces. Does your father say that too? My father has disappeared. Oh, I am so sorry. Summoned to a meeting. Don't tell me anything more. Never returned. So I've been thinking that if we, the young nobles, could meet... I've just remembered, I have a very important... Uh, something I must do at once. What are you?
told to be on the lookout for a vampire. You're to kill him on sight! You there. You work for the bishop, don't you? I have three crates of wine to deliver. I don't work for him. Oh, yes you do. I've seen you there. I've left his employ just this minute. I wouldn't go near the place if I were you. Why not? I've got this wine. The Seraphim searching the house. Thanks, friend. I owe you for that.
weapon away. You there. What's your business here? Who are you? I beg you, be merciful, good sir. I am... I was butler to the Bishop of Meridian, but the, the, the Seraphim, they're, they're inside now. I, I, I thought I would wait here. Where are they? They accuse the Bishop of aiding the vampire resistance. They're looking for proof. I beg of you, do not tell them where to find me. I will do anything. Yes, you will. Tell me where to find the Bishop. I can't. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Shall I ease your mind and tell you I am sent by Vorador for the vampire resistance? Or shall I simply tear out your throat and continue my search? I leave the decision to you. The cathedral. He fled there. He thought he would be safe. Holy ground will not deter his pursuer. Where is the cathedral? To the northeast. But it will do you no good. You cannot enter without the proper authority. I suggest you show me the way, now. Of course, sir. This way, sir. It is my pleasure to serve you. This tunnel will bring you again to the streets. I thank you. Good night. Stay back! <laughs> <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
Greetings, old man. I assume that I address the Bishop of Meridian. <sighs> I seek information on gaining access to the Saraphan Keep. You are to give me passage inside. I am sent by Vorador. <sighs> what ails you? Speak! He speaks only at my command. What? You are too late, Kane. 
He is entirely in my power. Release him and I may spare your life. I hold the cards now, Cain. Surrender yourself to me, or I will kill him. What do I care for the life of some mortal? But the thought of killing you at last entices me. Tell me, Marcus, do you truly believe you can stop me? Stay back. You cannot win. The bishop will tell you nothing while he remains under my power, and you will never catch me. Don't be paranoid, Cain. I really am after you.
destroy Kane now, my puppet. <laughs> My bidding. I think you can do Catch my me. bidding.
you can catch me? You can catch me.
man, do you live? I, yes. Yes, I do. I must thank you for destroying that fiend. He, he robbed me of my mind. He was a novice. Bishop, I require your help. Vorador has sent me to gain passage to the Saraphan Keep. One of our associates is held captive there. A fool's errand to enter the very maw of the beast. But yes, I will help you. I will take you there. I will show you the entrance. <laughs>